something like living a simple life. Something out those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint. Check it out, man. We are making some serious project on the garage renovations, the garage repairs here. We've got the Harbor Freight cement mixer, and it has definitely been earning its keep. Those two pallets used to be full of concrete. I had three pallets full, and I'm down to about a half pallet. In fact, we had to transfer what was left in here out because today we're going to pour both of these to finish this job up we're we're gonna call this done today wife is off and we got some digging to do you can see there's a concrete retaining wall here and i'm gonna beat that out by hand level this down and we're gonna pour this it's about six by nine right there and check it out holy cow check it out concrete 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 yeah that's right the whole floor is now going to be concreted in so that we can have ourselves the area concreted in. And then right here, there'll be a wall. And you come to this side. And this will be where we park equipment. Now, the air compressor is going to go right where that ladder is. But that's it. Other thing else, some snow tires, just stuff. And you'll notice it's a bit darker in here than the last video I made. That's because... In between pouring concrete, what I've been doing for the last six days, eight days, whatever it's been, I think it's been about eight days now, is that uh, I'd pour a slab, and as I waited for that to set, I'd get up here and work on the roof. So the rafters are in. The roof is in up to about right there. Then I just got them laid up. I have to do some cutting to get it around the chimney. And then we've got to reflash and reseal the chimney area. And I'll bring you back down here and show you the one disaster that we've had. You can see I've got... That was, uh, all these were four by eight. They were scrap that I got. They were like cull wood. They were all warped. But you put enough screws into it and they flatten out. And then we've got um, vinyl siding that's gonna go there to hold that all together in the end. The only bad thing is I didn't get the gutters up. We have had some heavy rains. So it is already causing erosion. It caused some of that mud to get back in there onto the new concrete, but that's just the way that works. But let me come back down here and I'll show you the damage. One of the concrete slabs we poured it was beautiful, sunny day like it has been. And then all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, one of those pop-up showers. And there was just nothing I could do. And I'm not sure how to fix this, but I'm not, I'm not even sure that it really matters. But right there, you can see water came down and ruined the surface, the, the finish. And uh, it kind of sucks. One, two, three spots right there. It's not the worst. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be rolling heavy machinery across this concrete, but I'm not sure how bad it actually is either. It may not look as bad as it does right now when uh, when all is said and done. But So today will be the last pour. And then we're moving on to lighting. We're going to get lights in here. <clears throat> you can see we had lights. There's a light and there's a light. So I'm just going to extend the string. I've actually bought some LEDs that are going to go all the way down. And then I've got more cull lumber I'm going to put on each side there. And I bought five gallons of the cheapest white paint, which ain't cheap anymore, guys. I'll tell you what, boy, prices are just outrageous. But we're going to try to uh, paint it white just to lighten it up in here. And then it'll be time to move the equipment back in. So I'm really looking forward to wrapping up this project. We are 10 days, I think, from the start right now. And I started the project actually in March, but 10 working days, I should say. So once we, once we started actually doing what we're doing, 10 days, I'm going to figure that it'll be a full two weeks, so 14 days before the whole thing is said and done. But it's been worth it. I needed the room, and this needed to be repaired regardless, so now I can stand in here, and it'll be much more usable space. I guess that'll do it for today. I'm Eric, and this is Farpoint Farms. Hope you're enjoying the series on doing a lean-to restoration or renovation here on the old garage. And... Uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.